War on Waste inspired Aussies to reduce their waste footprint. Oh, remember this show? War on what? Waste. Oh. It forced businesses, government and industry. Hey guys, we've got the new uh, mascot for McDonald's. To step up and increase their recycling responsibilities. I love this. That's awesome. Yeah. Very interesting topic. So join us as we continue The War on Waste. Tuesday on the ABC, waste crusader Craig Rucastle turned his sights on trashing fashion. Australians are one of the largest consumers of fashions and textiles in the world. Vesti, your major contributor yes. to that. We're buying 15 kilos of clothing per person a year. 15 kilos of clothes. I'm the first one to say I, I buy a lot of fast fashion. But what's wrong with that? Doesn't that keep the economy going? Why people are still buying and throwing away more fashion than ever before. Is that bad though? For the environment, yes. I like to buy a heap of things. Misty, you are one of them too. And when I get it, I forget oh. what I buy and I open it. I'm like, oh, this is what I got. And I get really <laughs> excited about it. This dress, it would have been about six to ten dollars. Oh no, she's a fast fashion influencer. Oh, so she's the main reason we're in this problem. Influencers to just buy it off Sheen yeah. and it's like twelve dollars a thing and then you've got an outfit for under thirty bucks and then they just throw them out. What? That's not sustainable. You've clearly got stuff being hidden away somewhere else. I do. She's got another room. Oh, she's got another room. Well, at least the Coles bags are getting used for something. You can't judge me, but I'm judging you. That's just her weekend wardrobe. There's still more. What? She can't actually physically wear them all. These girls are buying clothes to do one Instagram or TikTok. What's the solution? Stop buying stuff. The fact is, in Australia, there are limited end-of-life options for our clothes. A tip. The tip. Yep, and every year we throw out... 227 million kilos of clothing to landfill just in Australia. Holy crap! If you know what to do with them or where mm. to take them, well, you do it. But if you don't know, of course it's going to go to the landfill. Target says they've got a system where you can actually send a box off and they'll recycle it. Well, that's all right. Craig then decides to test the program. So this skirt, I think, is actually in good enough condition. It could be given to a charity. To track the skirt on its recycling journey. Interesting. It's an tag. special tracking tag. That's cool. Let's see what happens. I bet they put it into landfill. So I'm on the road and following the dress that I put a tracker in. Oh my gosh, this oh guy's following God. the dress? Imagine if you bought a dress and Craig Rucastle turned up at your house. We find out the dress goes to... Brayside! Oh my God! <laughs> that's here! And then back again. Don't tell me it goes back to Brisbane. Oh, that's good for pollution. That's where it is. That's where it is. It's, it's where that rubbish truck has just gone. Hey, mate. You got me dress in there? So it ended up in landfill anyway. No. The thing I don't know, though, is whether or not that tracker is still in the dress. They oh. may have taken it out because it's not fabric and binned it. Yeah. So this is the place where the dress tracker was before it went to the, the landfill place. Industrial class, so maybe they're recycling it. Let's go and find out. Are we allowed to film inside? No. Well, the plot thickens. These guys take clothing and cut off all the buttons and the zips and those kind of things because then it makes it easy to be recycled. And it's possible that they've cut out the tracker and that's why that's ended up in landfill, but the dress itself may actually be on its way to being recycled. Oh, that's good-ish news. I mean, it's a lot of energy wasted to get it there. Well, it's a start. Now we are moving towards a world where we use things once and bury them forever. And our planet just cannot sustain that. So together, we need to keep up the pressure. It's the only way we'll win the war on waste. It was really good. You don't think about all these things until you watch these shows. We do have to make some changes. I think if every household did their part, this world would be a better place.